and welcome to another life edition of the Pop Culture Reaction here on the channel with the Xbox E3 press conference. For some reason, stop counting down. We're still counting down, but oh, here we go. Oh, uh, this should be good. Hopefully, it will be good. At least hopefully we're good. Nine, ten, eight, seven, eight, five. I expect that we're gonna get something on the new Xbox console. Uh, well, yeah, Halo Infinite gets five. Yeah. I forgot to close there. Oh, there's Battle Toads! <laughs> it was our first look at Battle Toads! See that? Is it so they stuck brown toads in there? <laughs> oh, that game like that. Yeah, to put that in there. But yeah, that we saw those brown toads was in there. Oh, hello. Our brick model is the oldest and most Harry? efficient no? structure history has ever shown us. No, this is uh, what's it uh? Oh, this is uh, 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 oh god, what's it called? Oh, we've seen this before. Um, uh, fuck, I can't even hear our name. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy, proudly owned and operated by corporations. This is by the guys who did uh, Fallout New Vegas and stuff like that. We owe to them. Not actually Bethesda, but somebody, another company. Correctly, this is... They are always with us. No one has ever gone against them. But a stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate war. Someone who's digging up their secrets. Someone who could be a villain. I accept this. Oh, wait, wait. So, like so, oh, it's Fallout in Space. You one. Here, hope this it's even looking more like Fallout in Space. Or a yeah. Path. Oh. Did you ever think you'd end up like that? Ooh, it's gonna be free on that game pass. Eh? Oh, nice. Time will tell, but no matter who this stranger chooses to be, the Halcyon Colony will never be the same. It looks bad, but again, it's. Oh, uh, looks interesting. The outer world, that's what it's called, I forgot. October 20th for 29th. I didn't know if we... Eh, uh. Please welcome, from Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker and Dom Matthews. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios, a move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number of new games at the studio, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. 
When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making. And we're happy to return to E3 to share this with you. As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat and competitive team multiplayer. Our technical alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks, and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. This is Bleeding Edge. So it's pretty much more like me. Yeah. Um. Not the cult of different. Straighten the game at the game here. Oh, it's a little bit break. Uh, Ori? Dory sequel? I forgot. I don't forget. Maybe. Yep. Damn, that was shit. <laughs> Somewhat. I can't remember what the hell the, the game was. I can't remember what the, uh... Al, um... Al, um... Uh, it's, uh... Overwatch. Why am I thinking Al? It's freaking Overwatch. I can't remember it again. Because Overwatch means more like it's... Or rage. Not really my type of game. I mean, it looks interesting. I mean, if it's your kind of game, I mean, good for you. I mean, they're free on the Xbox on the Game Pass, so it's nice. In the first one, I think they mentioned the second one would be. Yeah, see. February 11, 2020. Brandon from the crate of Minecraft? No Minecraft story mode. Kappa. No, it's a Diablo Minecraft game. Style game.
<laughs> Minecraft dungeons. I don't know, I like my tail fair, Kappa. <laughs> Please welcome the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, this guy's turned around. Thank you. Things there. <laughs> it's all over praise. We on Team Xbox live for this exact moment. The moment we get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA and the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and new heroes for the very first time. This moment isn't just about finding some new games, it's about discovering your new games. This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history, alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater. Lucky, lucky people. Or one of the billions around the world who play games. Welcome Hi, to Phil. E3 2019. This right now is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. I guess. The expanding universe of gaming has opened a new era of creative possibility with more games more creators, and more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. And with new technological leaps, we get to play whatever we want, with whomever we want, and wherever we want. On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play with the friends they want, and to empower everyone to play wherever they want. This is why we keep innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting communities through crossplay, and why it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. Above all, gaming is for you. This is why we scour the world for your next new games. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere this year. Today, from the thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're thousands. highlighting 60 games for you. Damn. Including 14 games from Xbox Game Studios and over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. Damn. In addition to showcasing all of these games over the show, 
We'll also announce what's next oh, at really? Xbox Game Studios. Sharing Ooh. our expansive plans for streaming, and of course, revealing more about our next new console. Called it. <laughs> so thank you for joining us today. Let's jump in. <laughs> hey, another guy. Cal Kestis. Sogarero. You're on Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. A Jedi. As it takes place before uh or going not get lost. Hope is not yet lost. Ho 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 ho. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, we are not doing that again. <laughs> World premiere. Ooh. I have no idea. Oh, at last three? Peter Shannon, a nine-year-old boy, went missing on Saturday. This afternoon, the authorities are organizing a search in the Black Hills Forest. Okay, Bullet. Let's find this kid. Wait up, Bullet! Bullet! Oh, this is... No, I can't wait. I don't know. I don't know. Who are... Play a witch? Okay, boy. Let's find this kid. It is! Oh! Oh! Cyberpunk. And a style of Outlast. Oh, crap. The 
Be my man. You made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got I don't think we gotta really stay on that. Uh, that. Gareth right. this year definitely Start played that all. Right. Oh, it's Kevin Logan's first? Why don't you go to the bathroom? We're gonna play this during the Halloween event. We're gonna be with you in a minute. Wow, oh, come on. First was on Game Pass. It's, it's a mess. While the security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. A mess? Like, it is that one. It has a mess right now. Go! Destination confirmed. Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Alright! In and out! We're rich! Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jackie! Jack? Oh, s***! Ah, shit, he's stuck. Get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help. Okay. Just, just hold on. Just... Hey, hey, just think about all the good <laughs> that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Shit, somebody's not happy. cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this. Yeah, I can see why they'd be mad now. Let me put it that way. He's got a point. He's got a point. They don't want trouble, hey. Oh shit. We control the cybertronics. I guess because they was stuck with a technomancer or something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cyberpunk. Wake the f ooh. up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Count the Reeves? Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Please welcome Keanu Reeves. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. All right. I gotta talk to you about something. <laughs> I mean, I gotta talk to you about something. CD Project Red Cyberpunk 2077 All right A while back the guys from CD Project Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project Cyberpunk 2077 they were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by it. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Cyberpunk. <laughs> is set in a metropolis of the future. 
where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but let me tell you, the feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Oh, that's coming up. All right, so, Ooh. I guess I'm this, so tell me. Do you guys want to know um, when there's uh, when it, the release date? Yeah, we do. Yeah. All right. <laughs> then check this out. Ready now? Whoa, hey, easy. Mr. Hansen, am I right for the job? Okay, I'm in. <laughs> You have gone through to the other side. Let's By the way, I announced it April, April 16th, 2020. According to Twitter. Official Twitter. They, uh, they April 16th, 2020. Which is fine. I'm going to give you something to play next year. <laughs> World premiere. It's like a game we get gushies with a lot of fish. <laughs> it's almost crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But check your ads. <laughs> Baltos! You guys saw preview this in the in the opening montage. The oh, fuck! Rash Pitbull! I love this style. It's cartoony. It's great. I love it. This. <laughs> Bring it to yet. Big player co op. Be a dead spear of action. Watch the Francis fighting platform puzzle, teamwork, racing combos. Uh, game and read them all. Go too fast. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, this is strange and different. I don't know if it goes away. Why does that... Why did I write? The character's had right or something like him. Starring again. Press that code. Creature in the well. Pull Queen back. Rebound. I'm doing it. Blazing Chrono. That's an old school game. I think it's an old school game. <laughs> Xbox, jump in. Please welcome head of Xbox partnerships, Sarah Bond. Have Xbox partnership. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. This is nice. At Xbox, our passion is to help you find and play the games that you love through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe, seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems and crafts partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences, epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding more games from more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. We are thrilled to announce new titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight, Ooh. Metro Exodus, <laughs> Hollow Knight, and Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Amazing <laughs> games that you can start playing today. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. That is why last month we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. Today, the Game Pass journey on PC begins. 
Nice. Now, PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games just for PC, including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. <laughs> Call that a favorite. <laughs> It's doing your open For the first time on PC, <clears throat> starting with Halo Reach, the entire Master Chief collection. I know that was big for a lot of people. <clears throat> Woo! We are thrilled to share that Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open beta today. Whenever you're ready. Got sweat drip, dripping down my temples go. This power is something fundamental though I can feel the hum and the rush of the crowd I can hear the claps and the noise getting loud What you gonna do when the clock runs out? Ooh, Kiss Vibes gotta be on there, oh Hey Tharia, we'll find his up there. It's just, it's a, it's Jim Ray, it's a great game. Xbox Game Pass for PC is here now. Try it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. And if you want it all, we have created a membership just for you. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Okay. You get everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games. Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community. And now, Xbox Game Pass for PC at no additional charge. <laughs> and because it's E3, everyone can jump in and play today for $1. Wow. Now go discover your next favorite game. World premiere. Capture in real time 4K. Like half the people care. Proud by Sally Dan Azura AI. Oh. Damn, that's gorgeous. <laughs> uh, probably for the. That's real. That's Sally. So I did follow it. No? Point simulator? I am. Oh, yeah. It's a plane simulator, it looks like. Wow. So, what they did is they used satellite for three crate actually. Uh, actually, real, real places. I gotta say, this looks gorgeous. This is real gameplay. I don't know if it's game, but this major recreation. I gotta get a minute. Probably a gorgeous game to play, not a gorgeous game to look at, probably not one to play. Do you remember a time when armies were built? 
and powerful cities collapsed. When the smallest of choices echoed through the pages of history, it was an age of empires. Ooh. Razors? I see you at a donkey's age. Welcome to beautiful Colorado. Home to the Purple Mountains Mastigy of the Rockies. Hike through colorful canyons. Get up close and personal with a wild and woolly wildlife. Sample home cooked delicacies. Eat where the locals eat. Visit Colorado Springs. There's so much to see and do in this post-apocalyptic winter wonderland. Meet new people. Make new friends. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces everywhere you look. Just don't look too friendly. See our beautiful airport. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy, Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> first round's on me, uh, first round's on, on you. I had no idea. Please welcome head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Moody. Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. It's fantastic to see some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox Studios is Double Fine Productions. Well. Double Fine has been a beacon of creativity and spirit in game development for almost 20 years with classic games like Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Age. I'm looking forward to Double Fine joining Xbox and seeing what we create together. Please join me in welcoming the founder and president of Double Fine Productions, Tim Schaefer. Thank you so much, and thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining Xbox Game Studios, and I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt, I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, Halo stuff, uh, Forza stuff, Excel stuff, whatever you want, we are there. Yeah. Tim, we just want you to make great games. Oh, that's such a relief, because I was totally lying. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you dare. Yeah.
My name is Raz, and today is my first official day on the job. We're on a mission. Rasputin? I'm on him. Looking for me? <laughs> That game passed that much. Damn. Yeah, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. I put the old egg in the box in the basket. In the basket. No, no, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. Ah! I cannot see. Cool. World premiere. The sky. Wow. <laughs> Coming twenty twenty. Brings the Dragon Ball years to life. Get to read that. How many characters could die in the same trailer? Project Z. Let's see, Kakarot. Early 2020. World premiere. Correct the thriller. Is the name of it or just Alan Games gonna be Kappa? <laughs> you wanna guess what it is? Hmm. This is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. You know? I know because you already gave it to me. This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? My father My died. of a heart attack? No, I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's going to knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. 
I didn't do anything! We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door, right now! You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop! No. You're under arrest! No. Hey! <laughs> You're home. You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> so let me guess. You, you, it's sort of like, um, it's like a, a gay version of the. Maybe sort of like a man trapped in a time. As I say, it's sort of like um, like twelve minutes to try to save her. I don't know. Twelve minutes to save his wife. So sort of like um, ah, but 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 what's it called? Uh, blah, 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 blah. uh so goddamn long. It's bare me the game, Kappa. Oh, yeah, it was, um, uh, b b b Crad Dog Say! Um, my brain's frizzling out for some reason. Kevin 2020 for real this time. <laughs> That's what I always say, Kappa. Game Studio presents. Here's five. by blood when are we gonna see it from the coalition please welcome studio head rod ferguson when thanks everyone we're excited to announce that gears 5 is releasing on september 10th thank you no, no, it's there. And if you want to play four days early, you can with our Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Oof. With Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, join us for our Versus Multiplayer Tech Test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all-new competitive game type, Arcade. In that was August, different. Games right? It's almost like, because she knows her... And see how when I found that last year's trailer, she, she, her grandmother was 
the cream of uh, in September, we return to the, the cream uh, locust where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate so, baby struggle 10. with back what are we talking about today let's today, come to the cream it's a brand new way to fight the swarm in escape you play as one of three hive busters you and your squad infiltrate the hive plant the bomb and escape with your life. They absolutely were trying to make best defense is a good their offense. mother than the queen, I'm it's guessing it would be in the last one. Turned up to 11. So it's sort of like Attack of Night in this game. Except for just... They attacked, and we lost everything. Everything except the need for revenge. This might look like a surrender. But it's not. It's an invasion. I think I'll be playing people who have been captured have found a way out. You have to escape. So I'm let M4 is people have been captured and turned into locusts. Or in the locust. This is different than a robotic. Oh, it's getting desperate. Um, are evolving. Ah, shit. Okay, coming to Gears 5. Well, that's interesting. I hope you enjoyed your taste of Escape, an aggressive three-player co-op experience, perfect for your living room couch. But it's not just about busting hives. You can build them, too, and challenge your friends with the experiences you create. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three WWE superstars, Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, and Tyler Breeze, to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. For these at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboard. Oh, and for anyone who pre-orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special just for you. Wait, what? No.
Wait, what? What? What the fuck? Okay, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I gotta talk about the next act back then. Yeah. Elite, now more elite than ever. Oh, it's an Xbox controller. Xbox in Terminator. Uh, uh Gear of the War Terminator. That's not something I never thought I'd see. Okay. Probably like 90 bucks of them. <laughs> Ooh, Dying Lake 2! I've seen a lot this last year. When my father saved my life, he told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place, I was forgotten about to this. My name. Getting attached to this dead man. Oh, that's death. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. Virus tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence of our existence, yet life must be more than just survival. Every day the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are, but I keep fighting. My name is Aiden, and I am infected. Bring 2020. World premiere.
I go? Please welcome Ralph Fulton. I the Lego car. No wonder they were hiding what it looked like. Oh. Combine McLaren's passion for design with about half a million of Lego's legendary bricks. You get this incredible life size Lego Speed Champions McLaren set. Damn. Combine the beauty and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of Lego, you get the Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion. You will drive this Senna and more Lego Speed Champions cars in an entirely new world, packed with inventive new challenges, new areas to explore, and loads of bricks to smash. The Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion launches this week. I'll see you there. Neat. <laughs> oh god, this pop. It's a freaking mobile game. Yeah. I'd be cute for if it's like a one day thing of was real, it's like a real game. I don't know if it's a freaking man, it's a freaking problem of the game. <laughs> Free kitten? Like, Locus wouldn't give a crap about that. Okay, never use stuff, kittens, and bomb. No, 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 no. Oh, hello. Xbox Game Studio for this. Day day of the K2 Heartland. I reckon this was as good as the original one. Our experience. They're they the K2, I mean. Apparently, oh, that's the least. Find the father I never knew. My mission find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The so I get to play either as the father or the, the daughter. Last he was seen. Trying to reunite. Was in Trumbull Valley. I try to get, try to <laughs> try to unite with the uh, 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 unite with whispers. I've only heard parents or with the horrors. Interesting. Here we are the many. Here we can become stronger. For so long, I was just surviving. Now people are counting on me. This is where my story could end. This is where my story could begin. I thought we had seen everything. We ain't seen nothing yet. Looks interesting. Uh, right there. World premiere. There you go. For the very first time. Fans Grace Online RPG. Oh, this is what's be it. Xbox One. Brandy, she star online. <laughs> I actually combat cross play.
all the content. All the busts and epic battles. All free to play. <laughs> all free to play! Never any quest to wait for you. Fantasy Star Online 2. The spring 2020. Damn. Those of you who have played Fantasy Star know that this game had influenced many of the most popular games today. So with great delight, we welcome Sega back to our stage and Fantasy Star back on Xbox. As we said, our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games. Meeting with developers, playing their games, and introducing you to their games, these are the best parts of my job. Back at E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with its passionate community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. World premiere. I've never heard of them. <laughs> so you sort of a mercenary group? Thank you. That's fire! <laughs> oh. World premiere. Everything we know is truth.
Okay. RPG, so that looks interesting enough. Rise up. Is this Tails game? I don't know. I don't want to say, but. I think this is. Yep, Tales of Arise. What did I say? I'm not sure if Bandai did, made, made the Tails days, that's what I said. Anyway, it's <laughs> there are six sirens in the universe. I used to be one of them. My name is Lily, and I need you. Four lane three, baby. Okay, that's pretty cool. Just be able to create a mech and then have mech pop up and drop, drop right in there. Shoot, loot, uh, slot? What? <laughs> There's a voice from the Guess from Portland. Hey. Children of the Vault is a psycho cult. Ten billion followers demand we join. Yeah, that I think that's a good idea. We've got another proposal for them. Nine thirteen nineteen, my am is coming. But wait, there's more. The hands of the spell ball makes the game as we made it so the wait, again, there's even more. But the all new Portland two events are fight for the sanctuary. They was stage for the Portland. Down now now for free. Okay, cool. World premiere. I am. Well, created by Deki Mizuki Mizaki and George R. Mark. I doubt you could even imagine it. That rumored souls game? Which I have right with Arcanon? Rise of Sleeper, that Rise of Sleeper, I thought it was good night, I mean, that was that Rise of Sleeper.
definitely not Game of Thrones. German is gonna be Game of Thrones soul game, I guess not. Uh, This is a different game, I don't know. Alden Ring. Okay. Produced by Bandai Namco and Entertainment, developed by From Software. Oh, I have to see more. Isn't it? <laughs> Please welcome back, Phil Spencer. From multinational studios to one-person passion projects, thousands of Xbox games are in development for you right now. Just today, we showed you 60 games. We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. Last fall, we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways, through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. To experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. Whether you're using a cool, console I guess I data center or your console at home, this October, you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. Where you play is now entirely your choice. You decide. So let's talk about our next console. For us, the console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, Gaming. Gaming. So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite controller. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live this same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. When we think about the future of gaming, it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile, it's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. How do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so like loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there in the <laughs> big elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. It's just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming. The mass effect. Have those mass effect one. <laughs> this generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. 
From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability, variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive console experience ever. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us, it's always about more seamless worlds with the next generation. It's we all can bring over, the mate. world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. We're delivering four generations of content better than you've ever seen them before. This console is especially awesome for Game Pass members. With the faster load times, you're going to be able to experience all the games within just the snap of your fingers. We're giving gamers nice. the option to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Holiday 2020. Monsters for breakfast. <laughs> this is Project Scarlet, the most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experience that really to give it an actual name. Of the console, I like it's going to be called Project Scarlet. <laughs> Together with our Xbox partners at Project AMG, Scarlet. we have co-engineered oh, and Xbox custom Scarlet designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Time for the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. Wow.
Daddy's listening. Yeah. Can you say hi? Hi. And how big are you? How big are you? Can you tell Daddy how big you are? Are you so big? So big. <laughs> and can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss you? Miss you. And I love you. I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Good and bye bye. Bye bye. UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNS. Holy cow, that happened to Mr. Chief. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Chief. I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. See there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think we're here, Ace. That's it. No, no, no. Not then. Not again. We need to run. No. We need a fight. Get ready. Oh. 
I get that, yeah. Damn, that was good, but I gotta say. Never said I was gonna be too out of the wrong. If it's still something coming up, I don't think there will be. Gotta use the kitty. Here's stuff. It's all. Never use the kitty. I gotta say, it was just a, some nice surprises, like, it's Ken and Reeves just in that, um, I was thinking I was gonna see more, much more of Kids 5, but, eh. We did, I mean, this is more a star here, and it did look like, it did, it did, uh, I think the point of it was struggling with is, like, all the sides he has to, I mean, it looks like they're gonna try to make her into the new Locus Queen, I think, um, It'll look this. It'll look where it started to it, and it really got it. Was like, yeah, okay, that's okay. Now we're getting really into. Uh, I wonder what happened. Uh, definitely looks like it takes place after Halo um, Five. Um, the player wish was a surprise. A player should have sound like Outlast, which could be interesting. Be scary to f as fuck to play. Um, Yeah, you know, I... That was... It was good. I had... I mean, I enjoyed it. I mean... I still wish to... Brando, but... I mm, have a nice... Uh, for, 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 for. Um... I still was hoping for that that overdrive too. Who oh, but I guess we're never getting that. Uh. Um Well uh, Lego like the Lego Star Wars new I don't know, man. I mean, one interesting, I guess, maybe if it's available on Game Pass, I'll pick up just to play the, 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 three, the other three games in this. I already played the one to six, I don't think it be that much different. Well, that's just a lot of different details. But interesting, um. Yeah. There's a. Ter no, uh. Oh, Fable 4, I guess that's really a dead, uh, Terminate Gears looked interesting, Battletoads looked fun, look at an updated version of Battletoads, um, got a little bit more in Bag and Late, but nothing really, Fantasy Star Online 2, I mean, holy shit, when someone, <laughs> when I actually think that was actually ever coming in the, e the East, the West, I mean, um, 
Yeah. You know. That 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 that's gotta be one that's like, holy shit. I I got I got nothing really much else to say. I don't know. It looks fine. I mean, it's, not, it's pretty good. I mean, I was I would if the haters are gonna hate, but I don't know. It's good. I mean, there's some really good stuff. I mean, like I said, the, that was a nice surprise. Kind of reach, like, oh shit, wait, who's that? Like, and then like, oh. That was the the calories being in the inside of punk. That was cool. Um, it was nice to actually get like, oh, we're gonna see you know the new Xbox next year. I didn't think we were gonna see it this year, but I thought it's like a surprise. Like the only way, the only way that would have is we got a title of the name, and let's say we're still calling it Project Girl. Uh, Scarlet, I knew that we were not going to see it this year. They didn't have a freaking name for it. You know. Um. Borderlands 3, I mean, look, freaking like Borderlands. Um. Yeah, the Game Pass stuff was cool. Um. All the light ring looking weird. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, the indie game stuff, I don't know. I just, not really, a lot of stuff was just not, that stuff wasn't really my cup of tea. But, yeah. Uh, it, it's going to be a sit for this for, uh, episode for this uh, stream. We're going to be back tonight with Bethesda's uh, E3 press conference that'll be tonight, and then we'll be doing Devolved Digital. And, uh, we'll laugh at that and enjoy that one. Maybe with the marker afterwards, we'll see how I feel. And, uh, and, yeah, I, you know, I, you know, I'm not gonna. So, you know what? We'll just do. You know what? What we're gonna do instead is we'll just do Mark. I, I just, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna be a instead or I want to do that after all. And uh, this stuff's just probably not gonna even like. like. Yeah, what am I doing? Like, just, I know it's funny, but it's like the weird shit. But the games are just like, yeah. You know what? We'll just forget right there. We won't do the twelve days tonight. We'll just do Mark after all. Um, but so we'll, we'll switch, uh, what we'll do is just switch, uh, it'll take me a few minutes to, like, get everything sorted out, and, like, the, count, the stream will be down, like, for a few minutes, and then, uh, and, uh, and then, uh, come back up, Mario Kart, I'm not gonna do straight up till like uh till like three. We'll do we'll the do one. We'll put the one. We'll just we can always do change it to later. Change it. But uh, tomorrow will be definitely um Bethesda's and Ubis uh, Ubisoft's and Square. Excuse me tomorrow and Nintendo on. Tuesday, Tuesday night we'll be doing uh, uh Tuesday night we'll be doing uh Life is Strange two episode two, 
at episode three, excuse me, that'll be on Tuesday night, Wednesday, I mean Wednesday's that'll be show 19, so I don't remember to eat the legs, bring someone out to you, because he's actually flying to ether right now, so, yeah, so, he won't be around, but, uh, Thursday night will be, we can tell on Persona 5, uh, day 7 of that, day, um, Friday, day 9, on Saturday, um, next Sunday, the premiere of Angel 19 here on town, because they're free on Xbox right now. All right back here with more work. How you doing, Alex? Then we have next Sunday night. Uh, yeah. That's the upcoming schedule. No challenge, like, see you at the follow-up. We got lots of games coming up. Coming, like I said, we're doing. Um, definitely we'll be doing, uh, guess five, uh, got to wear 2018. Uh, lots more stuff coming up. Uh, good fix, right? Pokemon Shield. We're able to do that Blair Witch game. Let's see. So follow me on social media. So I'm going to go live. I'm going to go live for Twitch and Tap. All games and games from Red Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, subscribe to me to page for all the playthroughs, Pet Pet Feature, including our playthroughs of. of uh, uh, including our playthroughs of. Persona 5 so far. Um, the Games of War series. Uh, the Halo series. God of War series. Plus the reaction from the last two E threes. Plus that's more good box trades, race rates, grooming trees, all kinds of good stuff. And I hope the cast out some ways in the world to save you money. Yeah. I'm gonna host anyway, anyway, I think it's a better wrap up, so let's just play auto host. So until next time, everyone, everyone. And by the way, whoever said it was two hours, I'm wrong. <laughs>